Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Holy moly, look at you go. Wow, look at all of you that are here. Hi. Hello, hello. Okay, so I want to welcome you. I have a me I have a mess. I have a desk full of stuff. We're going to go through a little bit of um <laughs> a little bit of what you can expect, sort of. And I oh my gosh, I am so excited. So, um I this was supposed to be 335. I guess I hit the wrong button. I'm really sorry. Um, I did not see that until I just now came to check in that you guys, some of you have been here for a very long time and I'm very sorry. So, but I do want to welcome you and, um, we are going to start with the most basic. I mean, actually there are more basic journals, um, but we're going to start with a very, very basic journal. And I would like, if you are brand new, first, if you're brand new, in capital letters, say, I'm brand new, and so we can all welcome you to the chat. For the, all of you that keep coming back, I love you, and I am so, oh my gosh, you are the reason that I'm able to do this. So, there we go. We have a brand new Simply Sassy Creations. We want to welcome you. And um, you'll see we have a couple people in blue. They will be helping to answer the questions because I expect that we might have quite a few people. Hi, Tani. Welcome. She's brand new. And Viri Diana. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Look at this. Joni K, Tammy Ann, and Cindy. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. So I um I want to I want to welcome you. Um I'm going to be showing you what we can show you in we have about just almost 2 hours. So probably an hour and 45 minutes. I'm going to be showing you a bunch of stuff in that time. Um my plan is to make another video that will condense <laughs> what I showed you. Okay, so we're going to be doing it. It's going to be fun. You're going to be able to ask questions. The live videos are amazing because it's not just me. You have people in this group that are on every level and every type of journaling and junk journaling and paper crafting and um, people that are going to just make you feel good. They're going to make you laugh and... Um, so that is what the community here is all about. And it's a very, very big part of what we have to offer. So we want to welcome you. Um, let's see. We got Magic Marla said she's, she's brand new. Patricia said she's brand new. And I'm on the wrong thingy here. Yeah, welcome to Julie's Messy Desk. You're right. <laughs> and um, oh my gosh, I am so glad that you guys are all telling him hello and thank you. Um Yes, thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie is reminding me to tell you to um, please, if you have a question, type your question in capital letters because if this starts moving fast, we won't see them. And we do have a p couple of people that always type in caps. That's okay. We're, that's fine. <laughs> um, but we do, um, we, we, <laughs> We, we try and do some things to, to make things a little easier and better. So, just for being here and being a member of the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie group. And so that is our Facebook group. Lioness is a beginner. Yep, yep, yep. Congratulations. I'm so glad you're here and I'm excited. Um, in the... The Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie, I just posted the digital kit that comes with taking this class. So just for putting yourself out there and taking this class, I put together, a, it's kind of a very random digital, but I think it's really kind of fun. And it's going to help me to be able to give you some things that you might not have um, been able to get 
because most of us are not able, are not leaving our homes and not supposed to leave our homes. Some of the other things you might be able to get at the grocery store. So, um, okay, so I'm going to show you the kit. And now I would like for our people that are here all the time. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. Hi, Derry. Um, to come on in and I would like you to tell us how many journals you have made. So, hi, I'm Derry, and I've made this many. Or I'm Bonnie, and she probably doesn't have a clue as to how many she's made. It's probably, uh, probably over a hundred. Actually, I'm sure it's over a hundred because she makes them ten and twenty at a time. So, um, yes, Carrie's telling us that Michaels has curbside online pickup. Um, I went yesterday and um, my Michaels was closed, but that's okay. I would have even been later. Um, so there we go. Everybody's going to tell you. I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to be looking at that for right now. So Bonnie, keep, keep track of the questions for me. I think you'll be able to copy and paste them if, um, okay. So, um, so this is the kit. Okay, so we have side-by-side -side pages. So the first 10 that I'm going to show you, um, number, and I, I numbered them. So number 1 through 10, you're going to uh, print them on copy paper. Copy paper, okay? So that is our first one. We have the little kids with catching the butterfly. This is an antique image from a scrapbook, from an antique scrapbook that I have. And then you have uh, an expense report over here. So you have some ledger, okay? Yeah, don't forget the thumbs up, <laughs> okay? Um, next, you have a background page, and this is a splatter page. You, many of you were here a long, long time ago when this happened, and now it's actually a background page that I use. And then we have, um, I think this is honeysuckle and a mini dot coffee dyed paper. So that's a side by side page. So we are mixing it up. We have, oh my gosh, you guys, sour flowers. Has anybody ever been a sour flower person? Okay, so um, you guys, I am going to come up with an option. Um, Hopefully, I, I have to, um, what kind of printer do you like to print the digitals? Um, just a regular printer. This is, um, I, I do have, I just got the Envy, and I'm, gosh, it's, it's amazing how good it prints. But this is Sour Flowers, okay? So, um, and they are a type of Oxialis, which is really kind of cool. And then this blue Felicia Daisy. You guys, I was a florist. I've been a florist for already 45 years, so flowers are my thing. Yes, they're already in. Okay, you get the digital. So the files are in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group in the file section. I just uploaded all of them. Um... So, so you get, this is, a uh, part of, I, I blew this up and you get that. Okay. Then we get some music and the Pussy Willow batch of flowers. We get the little girl gardening and the, the little the flowers so these are all side by side pages so far this i have printed them at eight and a half by eleven and then this is oh my gosh you guys this turned out so cool this is handkerchiefs and i think what i'm going to do is when i do mine i'm going to um iron my paper to the cling wrap and see, I haven't ever done, I, well, we did paper to paper one time, but I want to, I want to put the cling wrap on the back of this to get the linen look. So, okay, everybody say hello to Joyce. And, oh, she's not here yet. Okay. Joyce is our gatekeeper. So when you go to ask to be, um, to come in to scrap all about it with dear Julie, Julie, you need to answer the questions. 
She has been instructed not to let you in if you don't answer the questions, and she is very good at her job. <laughs> so make sure you answer the questions. And then this, you get this lace one. Now, many of you have already gotten some of these because um, they were party gifts. So in the challenge parties, I gave some of these as gifts. And when I did it, I told you that they were going to be part of a kit. So that's the first 10 pages. And so these are side-by-side -side pages printed at 8.5 by 11. They are going to fit inside of our journal. You can take and print these five by seven, three and a half by five, you know, all the way down. Some of them might lose their whatever. Now, um, I would print these on a borderless, but I haven't, my printer didn't want to print this borderless. So, um, yeah. So it didn't want to print borderless. So next we have our ephemera pieces. And we're going to start with my very favorite, the large tags. Because one of the things that I find when I'm making a big journal is having large tags, you know, having something that goes all the way up and covers the white space is, um, is really helpful. So next you're going to get four postcards, the backs of four postcards. And you guys, these are from the original cards that I got that I was um, that I got from my aunt Loretta, and so 1909, 1908. But these are the backs of some of the Easter cards. So then you get this, and it's the cards a little bit smaller, and then this page. Okay, so you could print this on and I mean these are going to make great journaling cards they're going to be great pockets but also it can be a side-by-side -side small page then you get this here this is from my autograph book my antique autograph book and then you've seen all the other images before but that gives us some journaling cards Oh, hi, Tracy. Gosh, it's been a long time since we've seen you. I hope you're keeping safe, girl. Okay, so here I took the, um, the big tags, the postcards, the journaling cards, and then this was, um, well, this kit, this kit is called Because Spring. And my thinking for that is because spring always comes. You know, it's like we go through a winter we go through whatever and spring comes. And I thought, you know what? It's going to be a great uh, reminder that, um, that, it, that spring comes. Okay? So then we go even a little smaller. And we bring in these images because of the boys that are catching the butterfly. And if I get around, if I, I didn't get a chance to, to do this as a page, and I think I want to do it as a page, so that might show up. It might not, but it might show up. So if you have won the spring digital, that's the spring digital, but now we have it smaller, and this is late spring digital. So, um, but I did those smaller. That gives us some stamps and things like that. So this is the spring digital. Of course, I'm going to have to bring up a new one. Now you see there are imperfections. There are things that happen. I don't, I don't do Photoshop, so I don't change any of this stuff. They are as they are. They're over 100 years old. So um, again, everyone, this is your kit. It is yours for free to download in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. I just ask that you don't sell the kit. Don't, you know, don't give it away. Use it however you would like. Use it to, in items that you're going to make for yourself, items you're going to make for your, for your, um, for, to sell. You know, cut out things, put them on the wall. I, all that stuff. Um, and enjoy it. 
And please come back and hang out with us during this series so I'm not all by myself. Well, I don't think I'll be by myself. But um, So this was kind of an interesting page, and I didn't realize until I printed this that it says Merry Christmas. It was already in the group and everything, but we can you can put something over that. <laughs> but I, I liked it, and it had never gotten put into a kit. So here is that autograph page. And then a couple of the doilies. And you'll be able to cut these out and use them. So a variety of real pictures. So you get, again, the Felicia Daisy, the Sour Flower. This is the tulip in my front yard. And these were sweet peas last year or the year before. So um, those things just say spring to me. Now there are two more. So that so number 1 through 10, you print on copy paper. Number 2 through 20 you print on cardstock. Okay, so that you're able, so these are already ready. You don't have to put them on cardboard or anything. And then the um, then there's two more and they have daisies and they're sitting in the printer. Cuz I went to get them and Midnight was outside the window going, "Meow, let me in, let me in." And I let her in, forgot to get the stuff I went to get. So Yes, please don't forget your thumbs up and don't forget to come back after this video is over and comment if you if you can. Um, so I hope you are excited about this kit. It is amazing. This is the basic. This will be working with this and then the um, yeah. So like Bonnie says, you want this kit for free. It's a digital kit. Join the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. Make sure you answer the questions so that, um, that Joyce can let you in. Um, and now let's go over a little bit about junk journals. So I just want you to know that, okay, so this is the Antique Roses kit. And I made... A, micro, a little mini journal out of this digital kit. And so this the all these white rose images, those are in the digital kit. Of course, it also comes, you know, to make a journal like the, the kit that you just saw. And um, so just like what I'm gonna gonna be showing you, with a big journal, you're going to be able to come back and do a little journal. And um, so this is a really, really, I mean, really tiny one. How can I show you? So this is a, an index card right here, you guys. So it's like smaller than an index card. So, and welcome everyone. Ah, the gatekeeper has made it. Okay, so welcome, Joyce. Thank you. <laughs> um, so this is a, a little bit bigger. This is what we call a mini journal. If you are in the Etsy shop and you're looking at my mini journal, my kits, a lot of them come with a mini journal kit and you'll see what it is, is it's the big kit already cut down to size for you to be able to make a mini journal. And so this one is a little bit bigger. Basically, I think that one's probably half half of that <laughs> so and then of course they get bigger and they get bigger what we are going to make first is oh shoot it's out in the kitchen because I put it in the Etsy shop today <laughs> let me see if I have another um well we're going to be making a soft cover nine by six okay so, well I have the sewing one that isn't done, that is in pieces. So it's going to be this size. It's going to be, it'll end up being probably a little chunkier than that. It's going to have a soft cover. And then it's going to have your digital kit and your random stuff in it. So this one is using the sewing digital kit from um, Dear Julie Julie. So I have 48 digital kits in my Etsy shop. And all of them are on sale through April 1st for their half price. So this is what we're going to be making. Okay. 
<laughs> and then, um, so we're going to be making that first and then we're going to go on and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to build our journal. Then we are going to make ephemera and then we're going to come back and we will do a, um, a, a bigger journal with two signatures with a, well, with a book cover. This one doesn't have a book cover. This one is made using um, the front of a, 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 the front of Tim Holtz paper. It's really, really thick cardboard though. So um, we'll be making one of these where you put two signatures in and we'll be constructing the book and then we'll be covering it with fabric. Um, what I did is I have created an event within the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie um, group because, you guys, it's really hard to keep going from group to group. So what I've done is I just went in and I built a group and um, Bonnie and I will and, and Joyce will all start inviting everybody. <laughs> That's, you have to be in the group to be in, to, in the event. Okay, so on the, um, where's my main box? <laughs> I was going to say, on the video, the, um, so, okay, if you just came in, don't forget to check it out. Come back and watch the beginning of the, the, um, the video this is the digital kit that i i'm giving for free to take this class so that you have what you need to be able to take um to follow along with us so um so there you go okay so i'm going to show you what i have gathered and so i have i have some lined paper this lined paper is actually vintage, but yours doesn't have to be vintage. You just want some lined paper. Oh, very good, Joyce. I hope some of them come. Okay, then some copy paper. I only have a couple pieces, but um, I but that's because I have the digital kit. Okay, I have a Birds and Bloom magazine that I'll be using. It is an amazing magazine. I actually have two of them. I have one here and one underneath. So I have Birds and Blooms magazine. Yes, don't be overwhelmed, you guys. I'm just showing you what I got here. And it's, you, if you have your, your it's not, it's, it's not going to be that hard, okay? Don't be overwhelmed. It's all good. Everybody, deep breath. And pass it on to everyone else. Hi, Marie. Welcome. Postage stamps. Canceled postage stamps are so much fun in a journal. Okay, so I have some canceled postage stamps. You saw the variety of envelopes that I have. And, of course, those of you that know me know that I have envelopes all around my desk as well. Hi, Z. Welcome. Okay, so the co uh, confirmation composition book is one of my favorite things to use in a journal. And so I recommended that you have one of those and I recommended that you have a, a book and it can still have its cover on it. Mine are just, I've already used the cover. Look, I've used a lot of pages. And yes, you're just going to take everything one step at a time. I'm just, what I'm doing right now is I'm showing you what I've got. And I'm going to put it so that I can find it. Okay, this was the magazine I showed you. I'm not going to use that one because I'm going to use the Birds and Blooms. Okay, um, this was the calendar I showed you. I might use it just because it's got cool birds on the side. And, oh, bottom of the box. <laughs> okay. Now, I have some cards. Um, I, I had these, okay? This, these, I, I think I might have even had these before I started junk journaling. Well, maybe not. But 
cards with envelopes and this piece here okay this piece here okay then I had some happy mail once upon a time from Joyce and so I'm finally hopefully gonna get to use these beautiful some of them this beautiful stationery so line stationery and envelopes so that's a paper and then and then those are envelopes and then the, it she also had sent me this cool envelope you can even make a journal out of this envelope it would be gorgeous so everyone that just came in i have already shown the digital kit that you're going to be getting that you get for free um, it's in the scrap all about it with dear julie julie facebook group in the file section there's 22 files there's 10 side-by-side -side pages no 12 side-by-side -side pages and 10 ephemera and i think i have a couple more that i'll be adding um to when we get to the advanced part so i have a hat a headband and i'm going to recommend that you you have a headband if you have one um, I know elastic is in short supply because everybody's using their elastic to make the the um, masks but if you have headband or elastic um, this is a great little tool that that if I remember we'll be using okay so I do have this flowers calendar I just went out to the she shed and and got it and because I I want to bring in some of the pink because my butterfly stuff is um, a lot of its pink. I have a lot of good yellow, but so I have this little one. So you can have any size. Hi, Christy. Welcome. Hi, everybody that came in. Okay, so I have this. You see, 2018. You guys, I went, I think I paid 10 cents a calendar. Um, it was when they marked them down before they were you know gonna cry because they still had them left so um, i have these butterfly images i have this one and then on the inside there's usually three or four on one of one or two of the pages and yeah and right now if your dollar general still has them they might have them for like 15 20 30 cents yeah Hi, Giovanna from Italy. Welcome. God bless you. So, um, yeah, so this, I have this calendar um, because I think because of the kids catching the butterflies in this kit, this digital kit, I think I want to put them in there. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but I did tell you that you could use a gift bag. So, um I thought that was off my gift bag. I guess it's off a different one. Oh, well, I've got two butterflies. And then I have all this amazing paper on this gift bag. So I don't know if you look at a gift bag. <laughs> sometimes you get really, really great stuff. And then I have some wrapping paper that has the little birds on it. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so there's another digital in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie. It's called My Favorite Things. It was um, what I gave the group on my birthday. It's still in there, and I am going to use that. So, but it's, um, I, I'm going to use it big. I just found the little one over here. I didn't find the big one. I must have used it. So I need, um, so that we will be using this. This gives us a flinch card and some other fun things to add to our journal when we're making our ephemera. I would print this eight and a half by eight by 10 or whatever it is. And I would do it on cardstock. Okay. And this is the ledger because you get the big ledger too. Um, I need to check and make sure that it got put in there. I'll check. Um, this is the big ledger printed at wallet size nine times. It's 
So we'll talk about that when we get to ephemera. Oh, this was the calendar I was going to use when I couldn't find my flower calendar. Okay. So, um... This is my other magazine. Okay, it's a Birds and Blooms magazine that's already been taken apart. Hello, those from the UK. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. We have people here from the UK. That's awesome. So this was in my um, stash. It's just a little card with a picture. Remember I told you that you could have uh, used cards? This is uh, this was a card that was in some stuff. This card. Somebody made a card out of wallpaper and it matches what I want to do. Um, I really like the, the colors here and I won't use it as bells. I'll probably cut it in like three pieces and use it like that. But I do want this to, to go in the stuff in my mom and dad's books. So it says, of all the gifts life sends us, the big, big ones and the small, the gift of loving parents is the greatest of them all. And most of you know, I lost both of my parents last year. My mom's, the anniversary is coming up. It'll be next, next week, next Tuesday. So I'm sorry, but I will continue to be going there because it's top of the mind right now and I am really real okay yes and I'm telling you use what you have I'm showing you all this stuff so that you get ideas that you can go oh I have this okay so this was happy mail I think this was from Bonnie but I'm not positive um, cause I, 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 but so this is from a book. You might have a book, a children's encyclopedia, something where you can get great images out of that rival, you know, the Tim Holtz, um, stuff that we can buy. I can't even, I can't get that out, but we can cut that out. So, um, yeah, so you might have a book or a gardening book. A children's book is a great one. Somebody was asking if I have done a golden book. This is my favorite book. However, I like the one with the little the little girl on the front, and she's like jumping. She's it's totally a different cover, um, but I love the story. And so I had dissected this, but I haven't used it yet. So, but you um, can use a children's book. That's, I squirm like a worm. I, I can grab like a crab. Anyway, so this is a golden book that I've taken apart. Children books are, are, are really, really awesome. Well, thank you, Bonnie. And thank you, Joyce. See, I got happy mail from both of you in here. <laughs> okay, so maybe you have some of these cards. Maybe you have the ones that are plants or cooking. These are really, really fun to use in a journal. Playing cards are really fun and amazing to use in a journal. Um, oops, I just dropped all those. Okay, so labels or stickers that don't have anything on them. That's something that I want you to look for and see if you can find some because that is something that we will be making, but not for a while, but we'll be doing something with these and um, it's one of my favorite things. Oh, here we have another envelope. And here's the back of a calendar. Stationery is good. <laughs> well, Brandy, they're, they're just wrong. I love sour flowers. <laughs> um, Stenopad is a great addition to your, if you have one, I mean, a lot of these things you might have used for something and have it in your home. Yes, and you can cover your ugly stickers. Is Yeah, we'll be able to do that. Um, copy paper. 
that is got that's printed on okay copy paper that's printed on old patterns old patterns yep junk mail envelopes kelly's telling us junk mail envelopes i have that in here somewhere um oh here's another here's another calendar now um a big calendar like this you can go ahead and cut off pieces okay so you it's so okay now let's go over here now the other thing I told you posted stamps I'm gonna put that up there um, cards oh yeah this one we decided <laughs> that's why that was up there is it supposed to get put away because it was from a from happy mail <laughs> okay so index cards if you can find some index cards we're gonna be using those next week so um, so go ahead and start looking see if you can find some index cards uh, regular cards that have not been used yet I showed you those butterfly ones in the beginning and I have these ones yes you're, we're gonna be creative folding our calendar pages too um, contact paper you know just in case you happen to have some I've done if you if you watch or if you have watched my dollar store um, challenge junk journal challenge video the regular one I used the black and white Dollar Tree um, for my cover black and the whatever that stuff is oh here we have another card and look I mean you can just see that coming out or this coming out and being a tag so and it, what this is is somebody gave me a whole box of card fronts Oh, bummer, Joyce. I'm not. I'm not buffering. So um, then the next thing is notepads. They can be plain old notepads. They can have lines, not have lines. Um, they can be from a hotel and have the hotel insignia and stuff on them. I happen to have found, picked these ones out to possibly use. And this one that I've never gotten to use before. So if you have something like that, if you don't, it's okay. We're going to show you whenever I do something, I'm going to show you an alternative as well. Uh, page nine, full size, no top. Okay, so I, I do need to go ahead and get that, um, get you another one. So I will, there will be, and within the next couple of days, I'll get you the, uh, another um, page in there. Okay, so this is a journal. I picked this up at Goodwill, I think. And it is um, bound, sewn. And so you can go in, find where the middle is cut your strings and just pull your papers out oh those ones have already been pulled out actually and then you'll you'll have two pages okay so um, you might have some pretty books around that you haven't gotten to use and so that's what you're going to want to do so I see a few more of you have come in I just want to make sure that you know that you're the digital, the free digital that goes with this class is already um, in the file section in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. Um, if you are not a member yet, when you join, you have to answer the questions or my gatekeeper, Joyce, will not let you in. So please make sure you answer the questions. <laughs> so, and welcome. Okay, so um, scrapbook paper, uh, or if you don't have scrapbook paper, you can go ahead and find some type of paper. We're going to show you a way to... Yes, Brenda, you can do it without the digi. You can do it without the digi. And, um, yeah, I... Um, 
Yeah, it's kind of a bummer because like even the the libraries are closed, so we can't send you to the library. Okay, so I have um, this 12 by 12 paper. I had this in my stash and I thought that it would match, so I, I grabbed that. And then um, I have this map. Now if you have map, then, um, you know, like a Thomas guide or something that you can, um, you know, mine it was from 2008. So we are, we have new freeways since 2008. So I am going to be cutting that up. This is double sided paper and it's just a random map. But it gives me some, um, some pretty paper. This is double sided also. And you can hear it, it's a little bit thicker. Um, so you might have construction paper, um, that kind of thing, and we will come up with some way to decorate your, your paper. One of the things we can do is what's called a Franken page, where we collage on it and get you a pretty paper. And so, yeah, so let's go ahead and we're going to, I'm going to put these down. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Now, when I do, I was looking through my, my, um, my journals of, the, of this type that we're going to be making. So again, we're going to be doing a soft cover. Unfortunately, I can't believe I left it out there. Yes, I can. But um, you know what? Do I have the old-fashioned lady up here? Or did I? I think I sold her. Never mind. I just have a kit. Sorry. Um, okay, so it's going to be a soft cover. And it will have, will do between 60 and 80 pages. Okay. Okay, so yeah, so don't forget that the free digital is in the... Um, in the group and then if you want to see what it looks like you can re-watch the beginning of this video and it is in the beginning of this video it's so far it's 22 pages and Valerie just let me know that I need I do need to to add the um, the other ledger so that's 23 pages <laughs> um, I'll add that in the next couple of days okay so we are going to go ahead and for this very simple journal, we are going to be using regular size copy paper. So you guys, I am not good at the, the metric stuff. So, um, at all. Okay. So I am, I'm going to ask for your help. So if you did eight and a half by 11 paper, if somebody out there knows the, how that transfers, that would be really, really great. And we can pass that on. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm trying to get to my regular, my regular papers weren't in there, were they? Did I have, oh, remember I was organizing? I organize my, and I'm, and by the way, I'm stuck to this cord so Bonnie can hear me. <laughs> and, uh, I can't move around as good. Okay. I'm looking for my, um, my regular papers. Okay. So I, I'm going to go ahead and I'm, first of all, I'm going to grab a couple of pages out of my book paper, my book. Okay. So I'm just, and I'm just going to tear them out. You can cut them very carefully. If you want, you can go ahead and undo your book. This book has already been, the, the cover was already made into a journal. So I have those two. Then I'm going to go ahead and I, like I told you, I love the composition book because in the, the composition book is sewn together.
Okay, Kitty Collins says eight and a half by eleven is pretty close to a four. Okay. Yes, it's fine. You can you can watch now and get the kit later. It's gonna be in there. It's in the, the files section of the the Facebook group. So um, I've done several where I put together a physical kit and sell that along with instructions on how to make a journal. And the people that have done that and been able to follow along and learn the basics using exactly what I had um, have been able to... I go progress faster okay so now you can just go ahead and take your pages out of your composition book okay you're going to want to save your cover because your cover your composition book cover is actually a great cover you could we could use that for our cover for our journal even you see it's made really really well it's made because it, they know that you're going to be opening it and closing it and opening it and closing it so this would be a, a really really good um, cover and then we could just decorate that and and I might do that as one of the extra things that I do um, but I did want to get my paper out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab two sheets and have them together. This can get put aside. And I'm going to grab two more sheets and I'm going to keep them together. I like to have, when I make a journal, I like to have some of the writing paper together in case I have a long story to tell when I journal. And so that's, that's my personal preference is to put some papers together. One inch is approximately two and a half centimeters. Okay. And then we can go ahead and fold these in half. So already we have six pages. Now we're going to come over to our, our pages that we've chosen. And you can go ahead and go through and pick the ones that you want to have. And you can fold them. And some of them you might fold the other way. I'm going to go ahead and fold them this way. And then I will go. And if I want to change some, I will change them back the other way. If that makes sense. So there's 10 of these. There's actually 12. Um, I'm missing two of them. They're sitting on the printer because the cat wanted in and, you know, squirrel. I forgot what I was doing. Okay, so this is the digital kit right here. I'm going to go ahead and fold this one inside itself. Which girl? That one? Or the, the gardening girl? And I'm going to fold this one inside itself. Okay, so this is the ledger, the big ledger. So you're going to get little line ledger um, is going to come out in the next couple of days. You'll see that file show up. It'll be file 23. 
Well, she's they're, they're in here several times. Now for this simple journal, I will not be coffee dyeing or distressing. Okay, so if you are already a little more advanced or a lot more advanced and you want to do that, please go right ahead and do that. I love this handkerchief page. And I'm folding these and I might not even use them as, um, as pages. I might go ahead and <laughs> I might, um, use them and cut them up and use them for things, but it's okay to cut, to do that. Okay. Now I have. this and you know what i i'm going to recommend that you go ahead and print this also at um on copy paper that you printed on both and then fold it so i'm going to go ahead and fold this one this one is my tags but i'm going to i'm going to use it until i print a print one that's on copy paper okay so that one goes like that and okay so for the one that I'm going to pull that I'm going to pull in I'm going to go ahead and cut the edge so that it won't actually I'm going to rip the edge I like to rip things you guys Okay. Now for tomorrow, you're going to want to have um, glue and you're going to want to have a binding kit. So um, we're going to talk about your binding kit and that's what, how you're going to bind your journal. And what we're going to do is before we bind our big journal, we're going to bind a little one for us to, to take notes in because, okay, so that, I'm gonna add that into my packaging, you guys. Now pretend that that was out of copy paper and not out of this heavy duty cardstock. It would be able to just be in there like the book. So then the other one is that you, you can, can do like that also. You could put, print this one on. Um, <laughs> yes, that's true. Ripped edges with ink look almost like um, burnt edges. Um, but this one, you could print this on copy paper, this page also. And then this could be a small page in your journal. If you are light, you don't have um, scrapbook paper, then this is something that you can help to get some more color in your, um, in your journal. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull those. And so that's my ephemera. I'm, my ephemera pages, I'm going to pull them and put them aside. Okay, so technically we have like 14 pages here. 15. But I, I'm, it's okay, I'm going to be doing stuff with them. So, okay, so if you have your... Your scrapbook paper, one of the things that I like to do with the scrapbook paper is um, make these make really great large pockets. Um, if you have a cutter like one of the cutters that so that you can um, measure, that is great. You look, I look at my paper and I go, okay, I've got some words up here. 
I need to make sure that those words stay at the top. It bothers me when things are sideways. Like even that book paper right there, that's going to bother me, but it'll be fine because I, I do want to, I want to teach you the way that, um, so that you can use things. <laughs> um, so, okay, so I'm going to remember that's my top. You can even do things like, Put a paper clip on it so that you don't accidentally cut through your top, okay? Um, so my journal is going to be nine by six. My papers are eight and a half by five and a half because I um, are eight and a half by 10. The actual pages each will be eight and a half by five and a half. I am going to go ahead and turn this. For this one, I am going to move my glue. Um, I have my words, my top over here. I'm going to come over to move my Mountain Dew that I forgot to take a drink of <laughs> before I started. Okay, eight and a half. Bring my cutter down, and I'm just going to make a little nib down here. Sometimes I do it with my fingernail, but just so that I know where eight and a half is. And then I can go ahead and um, fold it, okay? And you can do this um, a couple of ways. Hi, Carla. Carla's brand new, everybody. Welcome. Anybody that's come in and is brand new, go ahead and tell us in capital letters that you're brand new. I think some, some people are uh, a little, they're behind on the on the thingy there, but that's okay. They'll get to watch the whole thing. Okay, um, so here we go. So I'm gonna fold this up. I'm gonna line it up to this edge. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and fold it down. Now, if you have a bone folder, that would be wonderful to pull that out or a straight edge of some kind that you like to use to fold paper. It will give you a much better um, fold, okay? So there's that. <laughs> Your sister comes and shops at Joyce's Boutique. That's cool. <laughs> Okay, so I'm opening up my measure again. And this time I'm going to look at this paper on both sides. And I know that I really like this. And I like this. I don't want to lose that for a page. I want it to be part of a page, I think, except for we've got some words here. So, um... But I think we're gonna go. We're gonna go ahead and cut from over here. So um, I'm gonna cut this at ten and a half inches. And the reason I'm gonna do that is at ten and a half, I can put it anywhere in the journal. So um, one of the things that happens as you start to put your journal together is we have a thing called creep. The creep. And it is every time you add a paper in to a journal, it, um, it moves forward. So let's see, who do we have over here? Over here we have the infamous privacy envelope journal turned a day in the life. And I don't know if you can see that, but the papers, even though they were all eight, a lot of them were eight and a half by 11, they start to creep out. Okay, and you, we have creative ways of being able to cover that. You can cover it with lace. Um, for this type of journal, for me, it doesn't bother me. Um, so I go ahead and I lit it. But I also do things like cut some of the papers at 10 and a half instead of cutting it at 11. Um, well, I'm going to give you some options 
Magic Marla to use if you are not able to use the digital kit. Um, we'll give you some, for each page, we'll give you um, options. So I showed you in the details video, if you watch the details video, things like map page, um, the magazine page, the ledger paper, uh, other books and things like that. You, you can go ahead and bring those in and use those instead. You don't have to have a digital kit to make a journal. I just, that was something I just wanted to be able to, I, I could, so I wanted to give it. Um, so here we have this large pocket and it is, I think it's going to look really great in this journal and you see it lines up really well. And a large pocket like this is going to give you um, a great hold. For me, it also gives me a place, look how pretty that looks. It gives me a place to um, put a belly band, it, which is one of the things that we'll be doing probably with that right there. Um, so there's one, and then I have the map, okay? And with the map, and this is, this is what I call creative folding, and I actually have a couple videos on creative folding. If you want to go and look at those, yes, music pages are awesome. And you do get music pages in this. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't print that either. You get a full sheet music page in the part of the, as part of the digital as well. But if you don't have a printer, then um, you're, let's see, what colors? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut off the green. Um, okay, so this is the top. This is the top. You know, the measure twice, cut once. It's really, really disheartening when you have saved a paper forever and you finally are going to use it and you cut it the wrong way. So this is just a little thing I do to, to hopefully help me from cutting something. Um, the wrong way. Okay, so I'm going to cut this at eight and a half. With my top up here, eight and a half. I'm going to save all these pieces that we're cutting off. I'm not going to cut anything else off of this. We're going to go ahead and this one's going to be a make a flip. And because we have extra room on both sides, and I'm actually going to go ahead and fold it in half. Welcome. Bye, Maria. Stay. Hopefully, see you soon. Okay, and then folding here. And then folding here. And this can become a little tuck pocket. It could become, you know, it, it could just be a little flip, but we are going to probably turn that into one of the, one of the things that I like to use, which is a flip flop. So, um, but that gives us another little, little thing there. Okay. Um, then I have, well, this one, and it is, it's a little bit big. We'll go ahead and turn it into a pocket. I like pockets, you guys. You'll see I put pockets even when I'm not going to use pockets. I'll put pockets. Yeah, welcome to anyone that has just come in. In the beginning of the video today, I showed the digital that I am giving you for um, for trying this class. And it is available in the file section of the Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. Joyce is telling you that if you um, join the Dear Julie Julie Facebook group, you need to make sure that you answer the questions. So another one is, so I have this one. 
This paper also is from a different pad. Now, if you don't have a, a cutter and ruler that you like or want to use, you can also use one of your papers as your guide and just flip it up, line it up, and roll it out. Okay, so another thing that you can do is have a flip page. So and this one will actually have a pocket in it. Yeah, don't forget the thumbs up. <laughs> okay, so and go ahead and fold it all the way over. Okay, so this gives you another pocket page. So you remember those big tags? Those are gonna be able to go in the pocket. Um, things like that. And this can flip either way. You can have it flip that way or that way. Okay. Um, Let's see, calendar would be another thing that I would probably add. And let's see, the other thing is a page from your magazine. And I happen to have this page with the butterfly. And every single story that nature tells is gorgeous. So um, since the kids in this digital kit are catching butterflies, I'm going to go ahead and use the butterfly. So if this was an eight and a half by 11 sheet of like copy paper or something, you can go ahead and you can also flip it up. It does not have to go sideways. And we're going to get some, we're going to get some, um, and I'm going to make this the center of my signature because I don't want to lose this. You guys, this is a cone flower. That little thing is only about that big. So that little butterfly is probably actually one of those moths. You know, the ones that have the double wings? Maybe. I don't know. It might be. Now, I'm going to put this in here. I think I would probably cover this with something. So I'm going to put it in, but I'm going to put it aside because I, I'm going to want to cover that. You don't have to, but I like, I usually cover things. Okay. So that gives me another thing that we'll be able to put in. I have this from the magazine. Okay. Let's see. Then I have... Okay. Hmm. Now you can add coloring book pages, the map pages like we talked about. Um, I'm looking for my calendars. Are they? They're in the big. Oops. Sorry about that. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so wrapping paper. We have the little calendar or the big calendar. Yes, those are both brand new, but they're both not brand new. You also can use like pattern pages. So the pattern like from this as one of your pages. Um, if you have, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm, I'm all tangled up. <laughs> I'm tied up, I'm tangled up. 
Sorry about that. If that was jiggling the camera. Oh, we have a piece of copy paper. I'm not going to use that in this one, but you could. Because we're getting... Okay, I think we'll use some of that. So right now we're just picking out our papers, okay? Um, gift bag. Go ahead and you might have a gift bag in your closet. Or two. Hi, Julie. Good to see you. Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> oh, did you ask something? I missed it. And I've got a pile of stuff on top of my um, thing, so if you can ask it again. Yes, we asked that if you have a question, put it in capital letters so we can see it. Oh, good, Kelly. Okay, so um, I can get a page out of one of the sides of my, my book, or my book, my gift bag. So to dissect a gift bag, we go ahead and cut down the edge. Now if there's something specific, like if there was a peacock on this and you wanted to make sure your peacock was in your thing and it came off the side, because you see that the print continues on the side, then you can go ahead and dissect it all the way over to the side so that you get the whole the whole image. So you can, instead of the digital kit, you could take a calendar and if it's, like if the paper's really thin, you can go ahead and glue it onto some thicker paper. I should have gone over a little further for that poor little butterfly. So I've got this page. I'm going to have another page and I have all that also. So, and the bottom. So this will be, make great tags. Um, it's white on the inside. So I'm thinking we'll just go ahead and flip it up. There's no words. Wish I'd have cut it a little better. I can fix that. Bye, Terry. Bye, Sandy. Hi, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to all the everybody that's new. And as I mentioned in the details video, you there is a digital kit that goes with this class or series. And it is available in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. If you're not a member there yet, you'll want to make sure that you answer the questions when you ask to join so that Joyce can let you in, let you into the, into the class or into the group. Okay, so this is my edge here. I'm just, I was just making sure that it fit. It's going to fit. I'm going to cut it along this edge here. It'll be a little shorter than the other pages. That's okay. I personally like a variety of sizes of pages in my journal. Um, and then we'll save this and be able to use this for something. So remember, we're saving all the pieces. One of the things I like to, um, I like to use everything. So, okay, so how are we, if we fold that in half, we are good, right? Is that? That looks big. Did I did I mess up? Nope, it's five and a quarter, so that's good. Okay, and this fits inside of it if it's folded in half, right? Yep. Okay, I'm just gonna use my the bottom as the guide. Not I'm not worried about the side as much as the bottom. 
So I'm going to line up the bottom of it and let those do their thing. Because that I, I knew that's what I did. I went in towards the butterfly. Like it was a target. <laughs> okay. So that gave us from the gift bag. We have another pocket. And then we have this. And... Okay, so we have, where's my napkin? I was like, we could do creative napkin folding with this, sort of. What if we go, pull one of them aside. So I'm just going to go ahead, go up about a little more than two inches. I'm going to fold it. Pull it down. Pull it down a little more. Go across. And that's going to give us two pockets. So we'll have this pocket here and this pocket. Hi, Maria. Welcome. What is my cover going to be? Um... I'm really kind of looking at that uh, composition book, but I'm thinking I'll have to tell you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, sorry, Michelle. Sorry. So um, look at the, the, the time, the, the minute time on the, on the clock, and then you'll know where you can come back and go right to there when you come back. I hope you feel better. So I ended up with two of these. I've got four of these because I had them from the last bag. They showed up today on my desk randomly. Okay. Um, wrapping paper. Wrapping paper makes great pages. Especially if it's this thick, good stuff. Okay, I'm going to cut the whole, this is folded wrapping paper. I don't remember where I got it, but I like it. I, <laughs> I'm being a good girl. I'm not hoarding it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab my... Okay, so I have my other cutter, and I'm going to try and cut this without cutting the birds so that I can use them. There we go. So that'll give me something to use later. And so right about there. That's how I measure, <laughs> measure and pinch, <laughs> measure and pinch. Okay, so I have this page that just because I, I cut it to cut the, the bad off, and then I can go ahead and have a flip on this other side. There we go. And let's 
see. I think if we go right in between these two birds. And it looks like the top is the, the actual straight, straight edge, I think. I don't know. I'm going to, I measured to the top. Okay. So there, and we have another flip. Okay, so if you don't have if you don't have a printer and you're not able to do the digitals, then um, wrapping paper is your friend. Okay, so you can use wrapping paper, and it can even be, you know, striped wrapping paper, polka dotted wrapping paper. And we're going to turn this the other way just so that when I look at my pile, I know that I still have some of this. Okay, so we used a cover from the magazine. And let's see if we have, no worries, mom and dad are nearby, it says. But that's cardinal on the other side, so that's not getting cut for this. I, I'm, I love cardinals, you guys. We got some bluebirds. Oh, wind's lich. And the hummingbird, I have a hummingbird journal coming up, so I'll save the hummingbird for that. There's another, I'm going to pull, ooh, yeah, I'm going to pull that out because um, I might want to use that on a tag or something later. Ah, look at it. <laughs> Another hummingbird, some bees, huh? Oh, I like the nest. Of course, I could have used it with the owl, but I screwed that up, so can't. Okay, we can go here. So if you were doing this and you had scrap 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 book paper then you could um, you know you could go ahead and do a journal without all the magazine and all of that kind of stuff but because we're doing it with items around our house Hi, Anastasia. It's all good. Okay. Okay. I think we probably have enough pages. We've done a mixture of birds and butterflies. Oh, we didn't get a calendar page. I'm only going to have one, but I'm going to be doing some, gluing some pages together and things like that. So this is a, this is the first journal we're going to make. We're going to make a single signature soft cover journal using items that you have around your house. And then we're going to, well, actually we were supposed to make a line journal. <laughs> no, I don't have, uh, yeah, I have butterflies. I don't have uh, antique images of butterflies to do a digital kit. And this is the only butterfly calendar I got. 
So calendar has cardboard inside. You could use that for something. Yeah, make sure you watch the beginning, Anastasia, because it has the digital kit that I'm giving. Look at these. Aren't these awesome? I think we want this yellow one for sure. I'm, I'm more enamored with this yellow butterfly here than the blue one there. The thing about a calendar... Oh my gosh, this cord. I'm going to end up cutting the cord. Okay. Move it around. Sorry if that jingled in your ear. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with this yellow one. I'm going to try to only cut one page. Cut one page. Okay. So... This will give us this. And then we'll end up moving stuff, stuff over. And I think there's one image. Yeah, this one was the one that I thought the butterfly was small enough that I could use it. Okay, see that the, the butterfly? Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, there's butterflies down below as well. Don't cut my car. <laughs> okay, enjoy the mass singer. Um, okay, so I think we need a page that is a full page. How funny is that gonna look if I, oh, not bad. It actually, I mean, it looks like a but. I mean, a butterfly would do that, right? It would be in that, in that predicament, kind of. So, so there's that. Okay, and you see, yes, your numbers turn upside down. Okay, and then. For this one, we're going to go in front of the butterfly's antenna. I don't, I try really hard not to cut off uh, appendages, you know, antennas and hands, okay, wings. Try not to cut them off. And I'm going to go ahead and we're going to have a flip out pocket. Now, the co other cool thing about this particular calendar it is it is. It's not very bulky at all, but look at that great color that you'll get in the journal from that. Now we can do either way. We can do this so that it goes like this so that you'll see that. Or it can go this way and it ends up on a back side. I kind of want to, I want to make sure that you see it. So we're going to have a big flip out on this side. So it's going to be like that. Okay. So we folded our 12 by 12 paper. We have a pocket. Uh, let's go ahead and our nest. And kind of, because the nest, it doesn't matter where, pretty much where we fold it. We're going to fold it by this on this side. Okay, and we have this one that we folded. We, we don't need to open that. Bye, Sheila. Bye, Lore. Okay, so then we have this butterfly, and I just want to make sure that it's going to fit... And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rip the bottom on this one. You don't have to rip. You can cut. And I'm going to rip it here. And I'm going to rip it here. OK. 
Okay, and then I'm going to show you our pages that we have. And I'm going to show you what you're going to want for your binding kit. Because tomorrow we're going to put these pages together. And we are going to bind them. So the one other thing I want you to find is two papers that are kind of thick. Or it, you can even have a paper and some fabric um, or wallpaper that need to be at least 10 by 12. Okay, 10 by 12, 10 by 12. And it can be, they can be 12 by 12, but they need to be at least 10 by 12. And we're gonna be using those tomorrow to make the cover for our soft cover. I'm not gonna use the cereal box for our soft cover. Um, okay, so this is what we have. For our magazines, we have some little pieces. For our cardstock, we have a few pieces. We have a few pieces. Okay, so we have this one that is folded with a pocket, folded and has a little flip. This one was the scrap piece of paper that I had that I just folded it up and it has a pocket. This one has is folded in half and then I folded two pieces in. Okay, and it's all within. So you the first one I did, I measured it and it's eight and a half, um, eight and a half by eleven. And so this is my template. I'm going to make sure that everything that I make is fits inside this. And that way I, I won't have problems with the creep. Okay, so we flip this one up and we have a pocket. We have that and we have that. So those are our, our cardstock. And then similar to our cardstock, we have the um the bag piece now this if you don't have a bag but you have some pretty paper you might have some you might actually have some scrapbook paper or a coloring book page you can do this with that as well okay um, then i have the pattern paper and this was a long paper so you could do this also if you don't have pattern a pattern um, guide. You could do this with your wrapping paper. Um, and so we we took it, folded, it was folded in half. I pulled this piece, I literally just pulled this piece down and folded it so that it's down but it's not all the way to the bottom. And then that gave us a double pocket on this one. Okay. We have the magazine that um, it's a really heavy duty piece of the magazine. And we've gone ahead and folded that. This is going to be the end center of the signature. It's the only place in the journal um, for this kind of for this kind of journal. In the advanced stuff, we'll be able to do some more of this. But for this one, um, it's the only place that you're going to see a full image like this. We took one of the pages. This is the, would normally be the large tag part of the digital kit and folded it into three, three pieces. So we have that. Then we have the wallpaper. Not wallpaper. Jeez, Julie. It starts with a W. It's wrapping paper. And you see it's at an angle, that's okay. It's a junk journal, <laughs> right? Okay, and then we have our, cal our calendar page. And I chose the one that had a butterfly that was smaller so that it would fit on the whole page. And so you can see I have birds and butterflies. I also have this little tiny image from the calendar and then I have scraps lots of scraps we save all of our scraps because we use them okay and then I have 
I have three book pages. I don't know that I'll use them all for that, but I have them. I have two sets of the composition book pages. Okay, so right there, that's going to give me, the, and each page, so like this page right here from this book counts as four pages in your journal. You have one, two, three, four from one page. So if you want a hundred page journal, you need 25 pages in your journal. And a lot of my journals have been a hundred pages, a lot of my single signatures, but usually I do 50 to 80. <laughs> Bye crafty lass. Good night. Okay. So there's two of two in each of these. There's two pages. You could do three pages. If you, if you're a writer and you want to write more, you can do three pages. Okay. Um, now the digital, I've print, I went ahead and I have folded all of the side-by-side -side pages that I had. I'm missing two side-by-side -side pages. Oh, there's that one and that one are folded that way. Okay, so those are all ready as well. Okay. So this is what we got so far, and uh, my husband is home. So if you're new here, the 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 timer is when I hear the beep beep beep, and that means our garage door is going up. My husband is here. So, um, but wait, wait, you you need to find a couple things for tomorrow. So you need some type of string that's a little heavy duty more heavy duty than a regular thread so like some crochet thread it, you might have it like this you might have it like this um, embroidery floss you can use embroidery floss you can use baker's twine i have some matted here it got all tangled up i think i think lucy did that actually but you can do baker's twine um, you could do a small twine, um, and we're going to be binding the book tomorrow, binding, uh, we'll make the, co the cover probably before we bind it, right? Um, anyway, you're going to want to find this in the next two days. So that, you're going to want the smallest needle, the smallest needle that you can thread that into, okay? The smallest needle that you can thread this thread into, you want that needle. I picked up some of these needles at Dollar General. These right here, they, you just take the thread and you pull it down through that and it's threaded. And, um, and it's awesome. Your, your two cereal boxes, we're gonna use that in the next journal because we're gonna do a single signature and then we're going to do a hardcover. I want people to be able to make a journal and have it so that they can tell their story this week. So we're going to do the, um, the single signature. Um, really, your Dollar General was closed? Oh, my gosh. I, I hope ours... Yeah, that would be bad. So, so our little town had the first... Um, teenager uh, that passed away from the okay the other thing is you need to find some index cards okay or you're going to be able to cut them out of something but index cards and the for your binding kit you also want four large paper clips I use the large paper clips a lot of people like to use like the like these. Now I've used these and you guys, I mean, you can go back to my videos and I've used them. They work really good because you can go like this and push that down and it will help hold. A lot of times I see people don't push those down and their, their journal is moving around. So, um, yeah, so there, 
you're gonna um, you're gonna want four clips, and then you're gonna want a pokey tool. Now, if you've watched my videos, this is what I use for a pokey tool, and it's because I have trouble with my thumb, and I can't control really, really well the awl, even though I love my awl that Valerie sent me. I'm trying to get it out. I do use it. You'll see me pull it out. If I can't get that to do it, then I'll pull, my, pull it out. But a pokey tool of some sort to put the holes into your journal, okay? So um, tomorrow you need some type of string and your paper, let's, let's write this down. Let's write this down. So let's use a regular pen. Oh, it doesn't want to go back in. Okay, two, paper, 10 by 12. Or if you have that composition book cover, you can, you can use that or the composition book. Okay, so if you have the composition book cover, If you have the composition book cover, then you can use that. We'll be able to use that, okay? So um, there's that. Then you need binding kit. You need thread, not regular thread. You need crochet thread. If it's wax, that's even better. I don't have wax. I'm using my mom and my stash, and there it's not wax. So, crochet thread or embroidery thread. Or binding string. Some kind of thread. And then you need four clips. And the reason I chose, I choose the long ones is because if you have short pages in your journal, you want these to reach down and help. Yes, you could use dental floss, especially when you're doing it from what you have in your house. Thank you for reminding me. Um, dental floss. You could probably use fishing string if you had to. Right? Right? You probably use fishing string. I haven't done that, but you probably could use fishing string. Okay, and then you need a pokey tool. Oh, and a needle. The smallest needle that you can thread with your thread. And if you're having trouble with it, threading it, um, and you have someone there that can thread it for you, I'm going to show you real quick what you're going to do. Um, you're going to take your eight and a half by eleven paper, your eight and a half size, and you are going to go ahead and you're going to cut one, two, three, and a little bit. And you're going to cut that off and have your needle threaded. So if you want someone to thread that for you so that it's ready for the class, then go ahead and do that, okay? Or if you want to thread it, I, guys, I have one threaded. Usually try to have one threaded before the class. Of course, now with this new needle, I don't have to worry about it as much. But, um, yeah, so that's, that's something you're going to want to do, okay? So these are for, for part two. We're going to want these. And I want to thank those of you that went ahead and um, found either found the, that um, poem thing that I read yesterday and 
put it into the group. Thank you, Bonnie. Um, there were a couple, I think Derry and a couple other people that put that in the group. I really appreciate it. That was absolutely such a beautiful little um, prayer. Or, yeah, it was a prayer too. But I want to show you, okay, so when I was getting my calendar, this was the first calendar that I got out. And I just want to show you what March, oh, this wasn't it. Oh, bummer, because it was really good. Where's my other one? Oh, and this is a live video. I can't edit that out. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It was um, talking about the storm that may come and... And it, yeah, anyway, I'll find it and I'll have it for tomorrow to show you. So I hope that you enjoyed this and that you got something out of this and that you can see that we are going to be able to put together a really beautiful and colorful little journal using items from things that we probably have around the house. Okay, so with that, can somebody tell me how many people, what was the highest that you saw watching? Yes, and watch for me to put number 23 in the files. Thank you. Number 23 is the whole ledger. Now, if you, one of the party groups already has the ledger. So if you were in the party group that got the ledger, you already have it. Um, so, okay, so we have 83. Somebody had 95. Somebody had 91. Okay, well, very good. Very good. So all of you that are new, thank you. Please come back. And um, we'll be doing this. We're going to put together this, this first journal. And then we're going to put together another journal. And then we're going to put together probably another one. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. I have several ready to come up. Um, and also watch for the February Junk Journal challenge party will be next on the 31st because I promised it to you in March. Whew, so, so we're going to party on Tuesday. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Oh yeah. The digitals are all still on sale for half price in the Etsy shop. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.